Hello, welcome to the Gym RPG Show. Gigabyte has confirmed on their website there's going to be a 3060 8GB card and there's going to be 16GB cards of the 3070 and 20GB cards of the 3080. Now if you recall, we made a video about this a couple of weeks ago and we speculated on all of the cards that Nvidia didn't announce at their announcement and effectively these are all the cards uh, that we talked about in that video. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to look at the news article first, look at the card variants, and then uh, we'll come back and discuss. So the news article is from Video Cards, and it says Gigabyte confirms GeForce RTX 3060, 8 Gigabyte RTX 3070, 16 Gigabyte, and RTX 3080, 20 Gigabyte. So if you take a look at this screenshot, it lists all the variants for the different uh, Gigabyte cards and I covered some of these variants in my 3080 and 3090 AIB card and those variants were the Eagle, the Gaming OC and then the AORUS Master and AORUS Extreme and uh, those four are uh, shown here as well and there's also a Vision card, there's a Turbo card, now I believe the Turbo will probably be a blower style card kind of like the Founders Edition 10 series card uh, so they're the variants there, and they also have the 8GB version for the 3070 and a 16GB version for the 3070, and a 10GB 3080 and a 20GB for the 3080. And here they've only really listed a single card for the 3060, which is the Eagle, which has 8GB of VRAM. So if you think about this logically, most people expected that, that there were going to be higher VRAM variants of the cards available. So uh, this was mostly because AMD would probably do the same thing. So AMD would probably come out with like an 8GB or 16GB version, depending on their uh, memory bus. It could be higher, it could be like 10 and 20 or 12 and 24. Uh, and Nvidia would probably have these cards waiting uh, in case AMD would do something similar. So I think in terms of pricing, the 3070 16GB version will probably sit in between the 3080 10GB and the 3070 8GB. So it will probably be around $599 and that makes it $100 more for the extra 8GB of RAM, which kind of makes sense. I don't think they can price it too high because if they did, then people would just buy the 3080. So it's probably going to be about $100 for that. And then using the same logic for the 3080 20GB, that's going to be about maybe like $150 more for the extra 10 gigabytes that you're getting. So it would probably be around $850. That's my guess anyway. Now in terms of the 3060 a gigabyte, I think that's going to be around about uh, $399. So $100 less than the 3070. And that's roughly about 20% less performance than the 3070 which means that it'll probably be around $400. And I think $400 uh, is really competing with the consoles at that price point. Um, ideally, they would want to make it $349 because uh, then if you're going to be competing with the consoles, you're basically competing with companies that are giving away their hardware. So uh, hopefully we get pretty good prices on the 3060 and you know, in that price gap, I'm sure they'll find ways to like um, put more products uh, in between the 3060 and the 3070. And obviously the other question you might have is whether you should buy the lower VRAM version or the higher VRAM variants. Uh, so for example, whether you should buy the 10 gigabyte or the 20 gigabyte 3080. And we have a video on this as well. And I'll leave a link in the description below, um, but the video is, is 10 gigabytes of VRAM enough? And really the short version is that uh, there are some games that use that amount of VRAM right now. So if you wanted to turn everything up uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, um, yeah, it's going to use 10 gigabytes of VRAM. But there are many other games that don't use that amount of VRAM as well. So it's really hard to tell what's going to happen in the next few years. And also it's really going to depend on uh, how the developer sees this things and uh, what type of market uh, that he wants to market his game to, whether he wants to market to like the high-end market or a broader range of hardware. So ultimately, um, it's where you see yourself fitting in. Uh, do you see yourself as a high-end user? So in that case, you might want to buy the 20 gigabyte version or whether you see yourself as a mid-tier um, user and you'd buy the 10 gigabyte version. 
All right, that's it for this one. Make sure to check out my other video, which goes into more detail about these other cards that Nvidia hasn't announced yet. And uh, if you like this video, click on the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you in the next one.